one of the most important factors that decide wardrobe design is the size and layout of your room. This will determine how big the wardrobe can be and where you will place it. It will also decide whether the room can have a walk-in, niche or stand-alone wardrobe with hing or sliding shutters. You should also have a basic idea of materials and finishes available in the market. From an efficient design, take stock of what kind of storage is required. This will help you choose the best medium. For example, you might need more hanging space for suits and coats. In some cases, shelves and drawers might be better suited to your needs. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Home Living Style and I bring you home decorating and home design ideas. And in this video, I'm going to show you modern wardrobe and cupboard design ideas. And if you are interested in this video, then continue to watch the video to the very end. But before we start, just hit the like button for YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos and updates. So let's start about today's video. I showed these ideas going to give you great information and inspiration. So continue to watch the video to the very end and not forget to share this video with others so that others may also know about the wonderful wardrobe's design ideas. So let's start about today's video. Ask yourself these some questions when designing or buying a wardrobe. For example, you have to ask what are you using the space for? Take stock of what you will be sorting and storing in different sections of the wardrobes like clothes, shoes, linen and accessories. Determine whether you need more hanging space or more stacking space. Also keep in mind the height of the cloth that need to be hung. Some people prefer shelves over drawers and vice versa. Keep in mind that for items like undergarments, socks, belts, watches, jewelry, drawers and are easiest to use. You have to also consider who will be using the wardrobe. Like kids usually do not require too much hanging space and these sections should be placed near the lower half so that they can reach the road. On the other hand, drawers on the lower half might be a better idea for elderly people so that they do not have to bend to reach items. For kids, you might also need external drawers for storing extras like toys, games, school materials and books so that the wardrobe does not have to be opened each time. Next, you have to consider the type of wardrobe. There are different types of wardrobes that can be used and that you can select for your purpose. Niche or built-in wardrobes are customized to fit into a niche or alcove. Here are the shutters are in line with the wall and these structures cannot be moved. Next one is the stand-alone wardrobes. Stand-alone wardrobes are usually placed against a wall and also they are movable and furthermore they take up an extra floor space in the room. Next one is the sliding door wardrobes. Sliding door wardrobes come with channels on the top and bottom with the shutters sliding in each direction. Just like sliding windows, one section will always be inaccessible. These designs work best for smaller rooms where there is not enough space or clearance for the doors to swing to open. A walk-in wardrobe designed with clothes and other items inside walk-in wardrobes are considered to be most luxurious of all designs. Hing door wardrobes are classic styles where both doors are fixed on hings at the side and swinging open outward. The biggest advantage here is that you have access and visibility to the entire wardrobe and other advantage is that you can fix accessories like a belt rack on the inside of the door which is not possible with sliding shutters. Hing doors are also better suited for L-shaped or counter or corner wardrobes. Finally, walk-in wardrobes, the most luxurious design, are those where you can walk into your wardrobe. These are usually placed between the bedroom and bathroom for maximum convenience. A walk-in can have closed or open storage as well as a combination of both. A wardrobe with cloth and other items inside the height of the wardrobe should be either match that of the door height or can go right up to the ceiling for the extra storage it depends on you the ideal wardrobe measurements ready-made wardrobes usually have a depth of 200 to 300 mm sleek wardrobes however are designed keeping in mind item like suits with requires more space this this suggests a depth of 560 mm with sliding doors factor in a minimum of 50 mm 
extra for the channels and doors to slide easy. For hing doors, look a maximum width of 600 mm for each door so that there is not excess load on the hings. The minimum width for each sliding door should be 3 feet, otherwise accessing the content of the wardrobe gets difficult. This means that your entire wardrobe should be a minimum of 6 feet. Keep in mind a maximum width of 4 feet per door, otherwise each door will get too heavy for this channel. The hanging rod should be placed at a minimum distance of 2.5 inches from the top so that there is enough room to easily place and remove hangers. Each shelf or drawers should be between 10 to 12 inches for optimum storage. Drawer used for undergarments, socks and accessories should be between 6 to 8 inches. Storage for shoes, especially heels, should be between 6 to 7 inches in height. The height of the wardrobe should be either match of what? of the height of the door or can go right up with the ceiling for excess storage. With the floor to ceiling wardrobes, it is good idea to divide the internal storage and shutters with the top options and portions above the bedroom door height as a separate section. For walk-in wardrobes which have parallel cupboards on opposite walls and hinged shutters, make sure there is enough clearance for the shutters of both cupboards to open fully as well as clearance for movement. Popular wardrobe materials that are being used in these days, it is also important for you to know about wardrobe materials. There are two key factors to keep in mind while choosing the material. The shutter panels are much longer than choose those of kitchen cabinets, so wrapping and bending is a real possibility. Secondly, wardrobe are not usually located in wet areas like kitchens and bathrooms, so you don't have to worry too much about their water resistance. Having said that, highly levels of humidity in the air can cause swelling. Engineer wood, BVR, BWR or boiling water resist grade polywood, HDF or high density fiberboard, MDF or medium density fiberboard and plywood are the most popular materials that is being used to make wardrobes. Plywood is made using thin layer of solid wood that are glued together to form a single board. Plywood and BWR are the water resistant and work best for areas that see high moisture content. However, because these materials are on the heavier side, they should ideally be used on internal structure and not on the shutters to lessen the load on the channel or hinges. For the shutters, HDF is an ideal material to use. HDF is also great for the internal structure for areas that don't see high moisture. MDF boards are made by combining wood fibers with wax and a resin binder and forming panels using high temperature and pressure. Brands usually offer a wide variety of external finishes. Lake has 12 different kinds available in more than 200 shades ranging from matte to high gloss. Some of the most preferred exterior finishes are veneers, laminates, veneers, wood veneer sheets are made of using the slices of natural solid wood. Laminates are artificially produced materials made from paper and plastic resins glued and hard pressed into thin sheets. They come in wide variety of finishes, colors and textures and can replicate materials like wood, stone, metals, leather, etc. They also range from match to a closed wardrobe with glossy exterior near our table. Thanks for watching the video to very end. If you have not subscribed yet to my YouTube channel then hit the subscribe button. For more videos and updates please keep watching the video. I will meet you very soon in the next video.